Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about rule delegation. So what is rule delegation actually? Normally uh, when uh, we are developed some application and we have some configured some offers or we have configured some welcome email to the customer who has registered for the first time. So now management uh, thinks like we need to change the wording of this or we have to increase some values of the offer for repeated customers and all. For this purpose, every time we can't go to the developer and ask for a fix and again we need to deploy to the higher environments so we need to wait for a long time then that there will be some business managers or uh, some manager technical team where we will be delegating those rules and they will uh, be accessing those rules and they will configure on their own without intervention of IT team so this is what uh, a rule delegation is about you can refer here so for rule delegation, we need a separate rule set, we need separate access group. So where actually this access group or uh, this rule set comes into the picture. So if you go to your application and click on application definition, this is our application definition. If you scroll down and go to advanced, you can see production rule set. So this I have named as a delegated rule set. This is one of the rule set. Once you are given delegated rule sets over here in your application stack also you have to update this see in application rule set i have updated this delegated rule sets now for this i have separate access group called as zmart managers so these uh, managers will be able to see case manager portal so for this access group under advanced i go here and i have given runtime configuration as production rule set as delegated rule set so the rule set that I'm going to use for delegation, I have mentioned in application rule as well as in our access group. After that, we have to see which uh, rule actually we want. So here, if you see, I have delegated one rule. So delete paragraph is a rule. Okay. So here I have given some text. After we are given some text, if you click on actions, you can see one option called as delegate. Once you click on delegate, it would be asking what is the access group. So I am choosing access group of managers. Okay, then it, it would be asking what is the text. So I have given as delete paragraph. And if you click on delegate once, it would be uh, delegated. Now, under this access group, I have seen an operator called as Zmart producer. Now I will log in as Zmart producer. Once I log in as Zmart producer, left hand side, if you see, there are many tabs, right? If I see here configuration, see the delegated rule is there. So you can click edit on this uh, delegated rule and you can do your changes and you can check in your changes as well. So this is about rule delegation, but what internally where this rule is getting saved? There are two things. Uh, one is actions. If you click on add to favorites, it would be asking uh, to whom we need to add this uh, particular rule as favorite. Now, if I want this to be chosen, if I click OK, if I go here, favorites, see, so it is easy for me to access the rule. Okay. So again, I'm going here and clicking on add to favorites. See, there are two options, open the highest version or always open this version. Suppose this particular rule is there in delegated rules 01, 02, 01, but you want this uh, rule only to be uh, opened when you click from favorites means you can select that option. Always open this version. If you want to open the highest version, you can give this and not only to your personal you can add to other user personal and other access groups or to your access group also through favorites this is also one way of delegating a rule so don't get confused this is like adding a favorite that is also delegation and clicking here is also a delegation but where actually these rules are getting saved in which class so don't get confused like this is a rule that is present in this class but separately for this favorites or separately for this delegation there is some other OOTB class called as system user my rules in this class 
you can see all the list of delegated rules see see this is delegated to an access group this is an individual delegation you can see the type as well so if you delete instance from here uh, under your favorites you are unable to see this particular uh, delegated rule and so if you go here under configuration uh, like I have shown in uh, Zmart prod user under configuration only we are uh, displaying all the delegated rules so if I go and click here this is the navigation rule py case manager links okay in this if you see there is a one rule called as pz is delegated rules available it is uh, there will be an activity where they would be checking this one and if the uh, size of property list is greater than zero then only we would be able to see the list of instances so if you have delegated few rules and if you are unable to see in your case manager portal check this one rule whether it is written true or false and check this navigation rule as well for more understanding and if you go to actions and here in a harness we are loading that is pz delegated a harness in this harness uh, we would be refreshing the data with this data transform and once we open that uh, we would be collapsing all the menus over here hope you understood this uh, short video about rule delegation and what are the ways and what are the rules and classes that are involved in the rule delegation thanks for watching happy learning please watch subscribe and share to your colleagues